It's Angela Critters. Join me today while we make some homemade cream of cauliflower soup. I particularly like this cream of cauliflower soup because you don't puree it at the end and the little bits of cauliflower cook down and actually end up kind of tasting like potato and people will ask you if there's potato in the soup. So it's real easy, simple ingredients. You see I've got flour, salt, pepper, some butter. I've got some cream. You can use half and half or whole milk but not skim. And I've got some cheddar cheese, white cheddar, and broth. The hardest part is getting my cauliflower cut up. This is a large head of cauliflower, and I took the big fat stalk out of the middle, and I just sat for a while and watched TV and cut it into lots of little tiny pieces because this is going to cook down and absorb all the flavor, and it's going to taste like potatoes. And then we also have some, we've got two-thirds of a cup of chopped celery. We've got a cup of carrot and we've got one cup of chopped onion so I've got all that ready to go and as soon as my butter is melted in my large pan we're going to go ahead and put the vegetables in that we're going to saute first which is our celery onion and carrot that's why they're separate from the cauliflower so I'm using a total of five tablespoons of butter but I've already got one separate that I've got melted in my big pot for the soup and I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to saute my carrots, my onion, and celery for about five minutes on medium high. And if you need to a touch more butter, that's fine, but you won't need much more than that. So I'm just going to be back in five minutes. You'll notice how small I diced up my two carrots. I had two large carrots to make the one cup because this soup doesn't cook very long. It's not going to cook a long time, so I wanted to make sure that my vegetables would be tender. I've got my timer set. I've got two more minutes to cook. All right. We've got the vegetables tender crisp. The celery and onions cooked through. The carrots are getting there, but they're going to finish cooking. And I've got three cups of broth, and I'm using vegetable broth, but most people would use chicken broth. It has more flavor. So I'm putting in my three cups of broth. I'm doing this vegetarian style. It's also optional to put bacon on top as a garnish, and I'm not doing that either, but bacon's so good on it. All right, so I'm going to add some salt and pepper to taste, and I like a lot of pepper. I'm not a big fan of salt, but you need a little bit. And then here goes my large head of cauliflower. And I'm going to bring this to a boil over a medium-high heat. And you can see how some of these pieces are really tiny, so it's really going to cook down and look like potatoes. Let me get this broth all over my cauliflower, and I'm going to put my lid on. And this is going to cook for 15 minutes and simmer once I get it to boil. I'm going to use a little bit more broth. My head of cauliflower was larger than I usually use. I probably just put in another half of a cup. The boxes carry four cups. And a lot of times I end up using a whole box when I make soup. You just got to keep it flexible in the kitchen. And this is delicious with asparagus or broccoli. And I like this one because I don't like pureed cream of soups. I like mine to still be able to see the vegetable. So I really have always loved making this recipe. It just knocks out real quick. So now we're going to cover it, and I'm going to keep an eye on it while I wash my dishes up. It's now at a light boil, which took about two minutes, so I'm going to cover it and let it cook for 15. All right, so my soup is just about cooked, my vegetables. My pan is preheated. I've got a smaller saucepan this time, more of a medium size, and I'm putting in my five tablespoons of butter. I'm going to melt that. 
And then we're going to be making a white sauce first, and then we're going to turn it into a cheese sauce with our, I'm using white cheddar, but you can use any cheddar that you want. You can use any kind of cheese that you have on hand. It doesn't matter. But the recipe does call for cheddar. All right, so we're melting this. And then I'm going to add my flour. And I've got four and a half tablespoons of flour. And I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of my four and a half tablespoons at a time. So it won't clump up. And then once my vegetables are like completely tender, we'll pour the white sauce in the cheese sauce. I'm going to turn this up a second, get my butter melted, and then turn it back down. My butter would have melted quicker if I had cut my pats into tablespoons of, pat, of butter pats. All right, so it's supposed to be cooking on a medium-high heat. I'll turn it down just a little bit. As soon as it's melted, I'm going to whisk in my flour. And since I'm using a coated pan, my calphalon, I've got a silicone whisk. It's rainy here today, so it's perfect soup weather. We eat soup year-round. I don't know why we think we have to have cold weather or rain. All right, so I did a little bit of my flour, a little tiny bit more. And I'm not going to stop whisking, and I'm going to whisk for one minute once I get it all in here. All right, so I'm just going to keep going for one minute. All right, my flour is thicker. It's cooked for one minute. And here goes my milk. And like I said, I'm using heavy cream. I had some on hand from a recipe I made, but I like heavy cream for cream of soups. But half and half works. You can also use a can of evaporated if that's all you have. Well, it'd be two cans to get three cups. All right, so I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to Combine this, stirring constantly. And then once it's thickened, I'm going to add my cheese and turn it into a cheese sauce. The heavy cream makes the most beautiful cream sauce. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we're going to put in our cheese and remove this from the heat. So I remove it from the heat, keep stirring it, and I'm going to throw in my cheese. And that was one cup. And I'm going to garnish with a little bit more cheese since I don't have any spring onions to garnish with. And I'm not using bacon. It just makes it pretty. So I'm going to get this thick, and then I'm going to add it right to my soup. So the sauce can sit for a minute if the vegetables aren't quite tender crisp. Oh yeah, they look great. Look at that, and they look good. Let me taste one little carrot. That's my taste test. It's hot. Oh yeah, they're cooked perfectly. We're going to add this to it, and it's ready to go. My mother-in-law used to love this. I used to make this for her about once a week and take it down to her house toward the end of her life in the wintertime. She loved this. I'm just stirring this together. I think it needs a little something. I'm going to add just a little dash of onion powder. A little tiny bit more salt. And I'm going to let this sit here and thicken up. 
but I'm going to add a touch of cayenne pepper. We like cayenne. Now, you're not going to put that in there <laughs> unless you love cayenne, too. But I love cayenne and stuff like this. So I'm going to let this sit and thicken up and let all my flavors kind of marry together while I cook some bread in the oven. Mmm. Mmm. I can't tell you how good this is. So this is my base I make for all my cream of soups. I always use celery, onion, and carrot. It gives it the most wonderful flavor. And that little bit of salt and pepper I added at the end and that onion powder it was what it needed. Well, this is it. And I've got some little Mama Cozy's rolls to go with it. But it was cooked in no time. And I think you'll really love it. And thanks so much for watching. And I have the directions in the description. And I have a list of exactly how to make it. Bye-bye. When I was making the white sauce at the end, I said five tablespoons of butter. It was five tablespoons of butter total and four tablespoons of butter when I made the white sauce because I used four tablespoons of flour and that usually goes together. Thanks a lot.